Hi, this is going to be a quick intro to the video you're going to watch. This video is about my first attempt at epoxy. And if you want to find out how the hell I did this, stay tuned and watch <laughs> the video. Thanks. Bye. Hi, it's me, Maggie. Tonight, I'm, well, it's tonight for me, maybe morning for you. Who knows? Gonna try epoxy. I'm so scared, so nervous, so excited. So I got this kit on Amazon. It is the Janchun Epoxy Resin Kit User Manual. So it's supposed to be a safer one that you don't need lots of ventilation, everything else. And it's supposed to come with everything you need. So we're gonna start with that. So it does come in the instruction manual, even like a little problem solver. Stick with me. Let's see how bad I can screw this up. Okay, let's see what's in the box. I think this is plastic. And plastic. And plastic. These are like spreader mover thingies. Gloves. Ooh, these are nice. These remind me of those fancy ones I want to use from Total Boat. They're not Total Boat though, but it's got measurement thingies on the side because this is a one-to-one -one ratio epoxy. Okay. Mica powders. Ooh, lots of colors. The epoxies. This is the hardener and this is the resin. And it says it's one to one, low viscosity, bubble free, self leveling. Okay. And then two butter knives. And then, okay. So I've already made a mess. Next thing, what did I do? Oh, I've been watching videos. So I got a heat gun because you're supposed to use it to like, pop the bubbles. They're also covered in like this, so you know. Um, I got some different tapes. I got plastic and I got a hot glue gun. So first thing is because this cutting board is busted anyways, this is the one that actually came with our sink. And it's got a crack right there. So I thought I would like Try to do like a ocean kind of thingy with like the water and stuff and blues and then this is already like a tan brown anyway so it'd be like beachy and it would fix that crack so i'm gonna try that so what colors we're gonna do oceany colors right so let's just take out the colors we might use which i think blue well, that's kind of pretty too. Turquoise blue, white. Yeah, I think that's really it, right? Do you think we should use some gold too? Yeah. Okay, so the rest of this I'm gonna put in here. I got these, I use these for glue ups. They're just sticks with packing tape on them. So let me plug in my glue gun so it can heat up. So we got that like that. I'm actually going to set it on the cutting board we're going to use. Here, protect. Stay. Stay. It keeps falling over. Okay. You stay there. So then I'm going to do... The, you can even see what I'm doing. i got to lower the phone down. How's this? Oh, cool. That actually kind of works. All right. My neighbors already think I'm weird. They keep driving by and looking going, what the hell is she doing now? Okay. So I'm guessing these are plastic. Let's start with that. Next, gloves. Yeah, so I would do clear, then I do blue up at the front, then the turquoise, then the white, and then 
actually do the turquoise, the gold, and the white, and then take the hika and just smush it all around. We do like a clear for the, what's that called? The, like the flood coat or something, right? So I actually, well, no, because I need four, so I need five. Oh, and I need to stir it. Is that what I used to stir it? No, that wouldn't be what I used to stir it. What do I use to stir it with? Oh, shoot. I don't know. Okay, so I got a bunch of scrap wood. Can I stir with this? What do you think? We'll find out. Okay. So, do I mix them separately, put them together so I can make sure I get the right amount? What do you think, four ounces? Yeah, I'm gonna try four ounces first. Okay, so I'm gonna pour the hardener in with the resin. Wow, that really fills the cup. Okay, I'm taking this thingy and stirring it. And it said that it's gonna look like cloudy at first. and stir it for like two minutes. So it's 6.07 p.m. So I'm gonna stir it till 6.09. Oh, I'm gonna bring it up close. It said also to make sure to stir, or someone said something about stirring in the same direction. So I don't know if you can see, it's kind of foggy right now. But it said after two minutes of stirring, it should be clear again. So I'm stirring. So anyways, how's everyone's day going? How's everyone's Christmas preparation and Hanukkah preparation everything going? Okay, so it's been two minutes. I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way so maybe you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I've got these cups. I really can't see them because they're like clear. And what I want to do is I want to put a little bit in each cup. Oh. Whoa. And then the clear. Okay. So I got five cups. That one's going to be clear. So should I go from like light to dark? And then I only have to use one of these things? How do you do this? Okay. So now I'm going to open up the mica powder. Which, how do you open this up with gloves on? Now I know why Evan and Caitlin double glove. Because you can't do this. Oh no. So just, hmm, that's a lot. She said it only takes a little. Now I got like epoxy all over these bags, so it's not like I can just pop off my gloves and take them off. I'm back. See, you don't need to see me. Okay, so what I thought I'd do is take the glue gun because I see where they like make it so that's where like it ends. And I got to elevate it up a little bit so when it runs down I can take, I got a cheap paintbrush and kind of get the drips out from underneath. I thought we'd do this to make like the wave. Maybe. Because supposedly it won't go past the glue. Do I 100% believe that? No. I got the heat gun, because we're gonna do that next. But first, we're going to do the flood pour. Not sure what you do with the flood pour, but what I'm gonna do is, 
I'm going to bring it this way. Because I think you're supposed to like get it all over everywhere. Of course, it's got like this divot thingy here, which I didn't think about. So now I'm wondering what I do about that. Because this and that just kind of like went out. Thanks. Okay, and it's supposed to be self-leveling, but I think you're supposed to... <laughs> I think you're supposed to level your table. <laughs> I didn't do that. We all know that there ain't nothing level in my house. And in my garage. So we'll see. Okay, so I've got all this here. Okay, so, so far the hot glue is holding it. Okay, so then I want to take the dark blue and put it up here because it's going to be the deep ocean. Okay. And then we have the turquoise. Then the gold. Thanks, this might be too much. Then my white. Okay. Then I'm concerned here. Okay, so got all the colors on it. See, now I'm going to. This is supposed to get rid of bubbles. Mm. Well, the hot glue didn't hold it. I say it's going to be kind of ugly and now that I've covered like the hot glue and epoxy how am I going to get the hot glue off oh shoot yeah I don't think this works okay so this is my oh it's too hot because it's melting that oh shoot this doesn't have like a temperature turn down thingy Okay, well, oh, that's high. Okay, so, <sighs> sugar loaf, this didn't work. Oh, <gasps> oh shit. Oh shit. I have to buy my wife a new puzzle table. Because I just melted hers. Should I have done white and then the colors on top of it? Probably, huh? Okay. Well, seems to be a common theme with my tools smoking. Okay, well, okay, so 
what have I taken from, what have I learned from this? Besides the fact that I just wasted a lot of money so far on epoxy. Okay, so first thing, I made too much epoxy. I didn't need that much. Second of all, I thought I needed to do a flood coat. I think I need to do a coat of white, not clear. Third, this thingy here wasn't a good idea, this channel. Fourth, need to level the project. Fifth, have a proper place to set my tools besides on the table so I don't melt the table. Um, I think I got the ventilation and the gloves. Ooh, that's another thing. Uh, open the mica stuff before I use it, before I put my gloves on so it's already opened. So... Okay, so now I'm gonna let this sit and dry. <sighs> I'll be back and show you what it ended up looking like. <sighs> okay, so it's me. So it's the next day after, um, Epoxy cured with a mosquito in it. Oh, and another bug too. And I had put it on these scraps that I covered in tape. I used these for glue up, so I thought they would work. They didn't work, so yeah. Um yeah i don't know can you see <laughs> so yeah this was my first um first attempt at epoxy so i did the hot glue because i was gonna do this section here to look like the beach and I thought that would stop it, and it didn't. Hold on, I made a chisel. <laughs> 